All right, we are now doing our dummy check. Walking all around the camp, making sure that we didn't leave any little thing, including any garbage or any gear. And this has just been the prettiest little place. Oh, we loved it. Oh, we loved meeting our neighbor. She's a through hiker from the AT and her name is Prism. Her trail name. Off we go. This is how you find our campsite. It says two campsites. And then you walk down there quite a ways. And then you turn right for ours. Turn left for where Prism stayed. And then there's one more that a couple uh, stayed at just down to the right. I would say those are the three best campsites here. If you're counting up from coming up the North Fork, then it would be numbers 9, 10, and 11. Um, I don't know how many will count how many there are going up, and then you'll be able to know which nuns, but those are the ones we recommend. Yes, it is day four of hike. It's our final day, and we'll be going up from our campsite to see Lake Solitude, then over the top of Paintbrush Divide, I think that's what it's called, and then down through Paintbrush Canyon, and back to Ginny Lake and our car. One giant loop. It's just been an epic adventure, a beautiful experience. We, it's a learning experience for us. It's the longest we've ever been back packing and uh, living out of a tent. When the whole entire adventure is done, we will have slept in a tent for six days in a row. <laughs> That's the longest ever and we're doing okay. We, I think we got it figured out. We've got some things. We've been making a list of gear we want to bring next time and gear maybe we don't need to bring and we're learning. So we're really looking forward to having more of these adventures in the future. All right, off we go. Okay. Oh look, more stairs. <laughs> Woo! More stairs. <laughs> Jeff says it's the stairway to heaven. <laughs> or at least the stairway to Solitude Lake.
We were noticing looking across that that was a high up glacial lake. And you can see it's high up above at about 10,000 feet. And then down below here is, below it is Solitude Lake. Okay, we're taking a break. This is a steep climb this is nothing like going over um the first one yeah. what is that one uh static peak. static peak Holy crap. i'm blanking it from my memory because it was so traumatic <laughs> that was really hard but now nothing's as hard yeah. this one doesn't have switchbacks it just keeps steadily going up 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 along the ridge um along the under the ridge <sighs> So how you doing, Jeff? Good. We've come up about 1,200 feet from our campsite. So. 1,200 feet in about, according to this, plus maybe a little less than two hours. Less, yeah. We're making it, slowly but surely. You know what this is? This is our first switchback since climbing up from the lake. Oh, a switchback. How nice. Okay. rocks <laughs> but the view is amazing look at this the Grand 
Rocky Tong in the middle. We don't know where the trail goes. It looks like it just drops off. part of that descent. Oh my goodness. That was a challenge. We feel so lucky to be alive. <laughs>
here's something really stupid. I dropped my microfiber towel and I mean, is it a big deal? I can replace it. I just feel really bad leaving it on the trail. So I'm walking back up the trail. This is so stupid. I don't know how much farther up I'm gonna go, but uh, I'm gonna try to go back up a little ways and see if I can find it. I'm not finding it. I feel really bad for the, you know, to litter the trail. Also, cause I was using it as my sweat rag. <laughs> and I really, I really need it. Ugh. So, there it is. <laughs> uh, I came up at least a quarter mile. Yay. Okay, I found it. That was crazy. It's really warm. I did take my pack off and I left it next to Jeff. I also left my poles. <laughs> I should have brought at least one. It would be helpful to go going down. <sighs> Snap! <sighs> These things happen. I'm just really, really happy to get it off the trail. The trail is so pristine. And um, I didn't want to be the one that left litter. <laughs> I didn't want to be the the two sock person. <laughs> if you watched my video from when we came up out of Alaska Basin, then you'll understand the two sock person reference. It's almost hard to believe this is the same canyon that we saw at the top. But it is the same canyon. We are still walking. It's really long. And we're really slow. Because we're really tired. Again. <laughs> so according to my Garmin watch, we've been walking for nine hours and 35 minutes from our campground in Upper North Fork Cascade. We are now in Lower Paintbrush. It just keeps going and going and going. We haven't even made it to the lake yet, and that will be Lee Lake. Then we have to go to String Lake. Then we'll be on the north end of Jenny Lake. And our car is parked on the south end of Jenny Lake. And I mean, as you can tell, maybe you can't. It's 
getting to be the end of the day. We don't have that much light left. I mean, we can night hike. We can wear our headlamps. It's just my legs are so tired. So I keep thinking maybe we can find someone in the parking lot at Lee Lake and we can pay them to drive us to Jenny Lake. So that's all I'm holding on to. Maybe we can hitchhike and then we can just pay him. I live in Moam. We can't call a taxi because we don't have any cell phone service. I guess people arrange taxis in advance to come and pick them up, but we didn't do that. Oh, oh, that thing on my lip. That's my lips cracked and bleeding because I forgot to bring Blistex or something for my lips. Yeah. Kind of a mess. But it's still so pretty, look. It's so pretty. Hey, guess what? We've been ten and a half hours now walking. It's been ten and a half hours since we left our campsite this morning. And guess what? We're still not down to the lake. We have to go past Lee Lake and then over to String Lake. And then we still have to go to the south end of Jenny for a car. We're still walking. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Somehow everything's gonna work out if my legs can just keep walking. this nice river and we're on this three mile trail back to our car but what's three more miles after walking 11 strenuous miles for let's see how long have we been walking now oh we've been walking for 12 hours now 12 hours made it to Jenny Lake. Here's where we are and way over there on the other side that's that's where we want to be. So we get to keep walking around the lake. Jenny Lake, so we get to South Jenny Lake to our car, 
and we still have, I don't know, another mile and a half to go, I think. road headed towards the south Jenny Lake Ranger Station where a car is parked I think it's another mile Still here in the parking lot. The only one in the entire parking lot. 